Hi, I'm Patrick, and this is the Mach-E Vlog. If you have a Mustang Mach-E, you have the option to turn on one-pedal driving. So today, we're going to talk about what one-pedal driving is, some tips on how to get used to it, and whether or not it's more efficient than just coasting. So, let's go. What we mean by one pedal driving is just using the accelerator pedal to speed up the car, but also slow it down. And the way it does that is it's using the regenerative power of the motors to slow the car down as well as charge the battery slightly. So it can be very advantageous to drive in that mode for efficiency sakes, but it can be difficult to learn. I wouldn't say I'm an expert in one pedal driving, but I will give you my tips and advice and how I came to use one pedal driving and I now use it pretty much 99% of the time. So the first thing to know is if you're going to switch one pedal mode on or off, I would advise, of course, doing it at a full stop. And the way you do that is you click on the Mach-E icon and it's under your drive modes and Every single drive mode, you can turn it on or off. And that's literally how you do it. We're gonna turn it back on. One thing to note is that the amount of regenerative braking in one pedal mode varies by what mode you're in. So in unbridled, the braking power of one pedal mode when you let off is a lot higher in unbridled compared to whisper or engage. If you're just getting used to one pedal driving, you might want to start out in Whisper. We'll go ahead and start that way. Um, but it's really up to you. That's, uh, you know, starting with lesser regen is probably good. And my second tip is practice in a parking lot or a well, relatively quiet area so that you can get used to it. And we're going to go for a drive and I'll show you what I mean. And just so you know, the regen works in forward and reverse. So if I let off, the car is slowing down. You won't be able to see my foot, but I'll, I'll try to tell you as we're doing all of this, uh, all of these maneuvers, what my foot is actually doing. So my foot is actually on the brake right now. Um, and I'll get into that later, but all right, now I'm going to give it some gas. I'm going to just say gas because I don't know what I'm going to give it some electrons. And we're just gonna move around. I'm gonna go a bit straight and just sort of get used to how it feels by letting off. And that was a pretty good regen and it came to a complete stop. Let's uh, move out. I'm gonna find some quiet roads and a bigger parking lot to play around with. Two of the most common questions that we've gotten about one pedal driving are one, what happens to the brake lights? And the brake lights don't immediately come on as I start to let off. It's There's like a, a G sensor or G4 sensor. So if I'm just slightly letting, letting go, um, as I'm doing right now, my brake lights won't come on. But if I let go a little bit more, the brake lights will come on. And that's in forward or reverse. It's going to put on the brake lights for me if it's detecting that I'm slowing down enough that it, you know, it would feel like braking in a uh, gas powered car. Another question that we get asked often about one pedal driving is like, well, what, what happens to the brake? Um, you can still use the brake. So if I need to, I can hit the brakes and just use them just like normal. You don't have to completely re uh, rely on one pedal driving. You can use the brake and of course you can use the brake in an emergency. So um, that that's the other question that a lot of people will ask. And actually when you're first getting used to one pedal driving, you will probably use the brake quite often because you're what you're doing with one pedal driving is you're letting up on the accelerator and trying to come to a stop, uh, like at a stop sign or a stoplight. And if you misjudge that, you'll quickly move over and use the brake. The other, the other, I use the brake a lot when I'm in one pedal driving for a particular situation. I didn't 
think about it first, but this is like another tip that I highly recommend. And that is when you come to a stoplight or stop and go traffic, when you're completely stopped, I think it's a good idea to put your foot on the brake or at least hovering over the brake. And the reason for that is, and this goes back to about a year ago, we got rear ended in our Mach E and my foot was over the brake and I prevented us from being shoved into the car in front of us um, because my foot was on the brake. If my foot was on the accelerator and I, you know, I got thrown forward, there's a chance that I could have mashed down on the accelerator and our, and our human nature is to mash down on a pedal in an accident and if my foot's over the wrong uh, pedal, I don't think that's a good idea. So my personal tip and what I do is when I'm at a stoplight or stop and go traffic, when I come to a stop, I keep my foot over the brake or on the brake. So when you're first using one pedal driving, I think of it sort of like a, a stick shift. Um, the best way to practice is to go to like a parking lot and that's what we're in now. This is not a big parking lot, but then what you, what you want to do to get proficient at using one pedal driving is you moderate the accelerator so that you come to a stop at like a stop sign. But like what we'll do here is we'll come to like, I'll pick a point in the parking lot to come to a stop and I'll, I'll just basically play around with the gas pedal or accelerator pedal and see how that goes. So I'll get up to speed. I want to stop right up here. So I'm going to let go and I came to a nice complete stop. We're at a stop, like I said, with my other tip, I'm gonna keep my foot on the gas pedal, I mean, on the brake pedal, and until I'm ready to go again. Now, there's two different ways. Like, I think a lot of people that have problems getting used to one pedal driving, what happens is, is they think it's like an all or nothing. I'm gonna turn back around and go the other direction. So, if I want to come to a stop, I don't have to wait until I'm ready to stop and then just go and let it stop. I, I can adjust that in, by just modifying modifying where my foot is at. So I don't I don't just sort of like if my foot is down on the gas pedal, I don't just go like off. I sort of let let off that way, and then I come to I think a better stop. Um, let's circle back around. And I'm in whisper mode, and that was a very gradual stop. I wasn't used to quite that level. I'm gonna to switch to unbridled and let off completely again, and I'll show you how that feels. Um, I don't know if you can tell with the, the GoPro footage, but if I let off now completely, it's a fairly short stop. But we'll circle back around, and I'll show you how I can do a very gradual stop just by moderating where the accelerator is. So now I'm gonna come up to a stop, but I'm gonna just gradually do it. And it's very nice and smooth. And then put my foot on the brake. So really my, be my best advice is find a, a parking lot, maybe one even bigger than this, and just do a lot of starts and stops and you, you'll get a better feel of how the car is slowing down before you're out in traffic and you're like, oh my gosh, that bumper is coming up too close. Or what I did the first, uh, you know, first times that I was uh, trying to get used to one pedal driving, I was stopping too short and then having to give it a little bit more electrons or gas and then mistiming that as well. So get used to it in a parking lot and then move out onto roads where there's a little bit of traffic and you'll, you'll gradually get used to it. After driving in parking lots, you can move out, like I was saying, to some less trafficy areas, um, coming up to a roundabout, letting off the gas pedal a little bit, not completely, entering the roundabout, giving it gas or electrons, however you wanna say it. And just basically sort of getting used to it, like on a, long straightaway, like you can let go a little bit, car is slowing down, but it, brake lights aren't on and it's actually not braking, but it is doing a little bit of regen. Um, and just sort of get used to it in quiet areas so that you just have a good feel of it when you're in traffic. And just always know 
the brake pedal is there um, and you can turn it on or off like we, we were showing oops go back over here you you can turn it on or off while you're driving I wouldn't necessarily do that some people uh, switch back and forth between one pedal driving and not one pedal driving I like keeping it on at all times. It's sort of unnerving when I jump back into a car that doesn't have one pedal driving on, or like when I've uh, had somebody else drive it and they turn it off and then I get back in. It's unnerving to me to switch back and forth, but some people, depending on what they're doing, they may uh, decide to turn off one pedal driving. One of the more common times to turn off one pedal for a lot of people is um, they keep it on all the time except when they're out on the freeway and then when they're on the freeway they like the ability to sort of coast a little bit while they are you know at freeway speeds so that could be uh, understandable um i have tried that a little bit and then i come to the freeway exit and i forget I'm like oh i need to turn one pedal driving back on so i just keep it back on or keep it on all the time there's a lot of debate about which is more efficient using one pedal driving or uh, coasting instead and using the brake. From what Ford has said, the uh, one pedal driving should be more efficient, but I haven't seen any hard set numbers of you know, how much more efficient it is in, under normal driving. Um, I like the fact that when we went into the mountains, we had very low efficiency, but then coming down, because I had one pedal driving on, I gained almost all of my battery usage back up just by going down the mountain. So I think it's more efficient. I haven't done any hard set tests. I'll work on doing some of those this summer. Um, my goal is to be able to go up Pikes Peak, uh, which is of course a famous, famous uh, mountain, um, and uh, see how the regen works on that. And maybe I'll get to do it twice. So I'll do it once with regen, once without regen. That'll be a fun test. In addition to the accelerator and brake pedal being mapped differently, depending on what mode you're in, the one pedal driving in engage mode actually has a cool feature called the brake coach. And what that does is as you're coming to a stop, at like a stop sign, it sort of grades you on how well you did just using the one pedal driving to come to a stop versus the friction brakes. So if I start slowing down in the middle of the street, it'll flash up for a second, brake coach, 100% energy return. And that, that one was because I let off uh, the accelerator pedal completely and just let the regen braking slow me down. Now, if I do another stop and instead just use the brake. It says 82% of the energy returned, and that's because I use the actual friction brakes instead of just the regen braking. Um, that mode is not available, or that coach is not available in whisper mode or unbridled. And the thought, I think, is that when you're in whisper mode, you just want a quiet, relaxing uh, drive, and you're not you don't want to focus on you know how well you're doing braking and when you're in unbridled mode you're on a very focused you just want to have fun and drive the car like a mustang and you don't care about the brake coach for that either but so that's why it's only in engaged mode um, and it can be a bit of a challenge i know that every time when i have it in engaged mode and i come up to a stop sign like this i'll glance down and i wait for it to pop up and see like, yay, 100% energy return. Um, and if I get anything below 90, I feel bad. And, uh, and it happens, you know, especially driving where there are stoplights, uh, you know, sometimes uh, the light turns yellow on you and you, you know, you need to make a stop. So you have to use the friction brakes and you, you know, I'll get like a 78%, but um, other times I like trying to see if I can get a hundred percent, just like I did again, every single time. Well, that's all I have about one pedal driving. It's really hard to sort of do a video and talk you through how to do one pedal driving. My best advice really just boils down to go out, give it a try, try it on some quiet streets, quiet uh, roads, and see if you like it. If you don't like it, just keep it in uh, two pedal driving mode and 
you'll be fine. But I like it. I like one pedal driving. Let me know which, which one you prefer. Um, do you notice a big difference between the different driving modes and one pedal driving between Whisper, Engaged, and Unbridled or Untamed, depending on where you're at? And do you use it all the time or do you use it just a little bit of the time or whatever? Um, thanks again for jumping in with us. Uh, Liv is actually doing all the filming today, even though I'm the only one in the video. But I know she would ask you, please subscribe, click the like button, click the notification bell so you know when we have other videos coming up. And of course, you know, she would say, no matter what you drive, enjoy the ride. Bye.